Hi guys, welcome back to Juju Jungle. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top 10 best Sonic the Hedgehog games. Well, technically the top 10 Sonic the Hedgehog games. Um, Once again, just like the, the top 10 Super Mario games, I'm gonna be focusing on the action games. So no spin-off titles like Sonic Spinball, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. No, only the action and adventure games. So, um, yeah. So, you know what? Let's go. Okay. Um, number 10, the original Sonic the Hedgehog first Sega Genesis. And, um, yeah, I only own the Sega Genesis version. So, um, yeah. Um, so this is the first Sonic game ever that started the entire series off and um yeah that started it all actually and um yeah this was a uh, really good actually and plus um sega created uh i um created sonic um um for their um for uh for their new mascot and uh plus to uh compete against mario so um uh, yeah and plus um when this game uh sold on the sega genesis it was a massive hit, and, um, yeah, I mean, I never got it in the 90s because I was never born in the 90s, so, yeah, I mean, I got it at an old game store, and, um, yeah, that's actually where I get my old games at, like, um, Sega Genesis and stuff, but, um, uh, yeah, but this game is really awesome, though. It's really fun. It's very wonderful. Um, the first, um, Sonic game ever created, and, um, the first stage, um, Green Hill Zone is often used in other Sonic games, so, um, yeah, the one stage that's been recreated, like, a thousand times, but I have no problem with that, I mean, like, I mean, it's one of my favorite Sonic stages, I mean, like, kind of, like, too much, kind of, but, um, that's okay, though, that's okay, though, but, um, uh, yeah, so this is the first Sonic game, this is a really good Sonic game, considering that this is the first Sonic game, I absolutely love it, and, um, yeah, and it's, it's really good, it's one of my favorites, I absolutely love it. Number nine, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, um, ever since, um, the first Sonic game, um, was a success, um, Sega decided to make Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 2, and they also introduced one of my favorite Sonic characters of all time, time tails tails the fox um his real name however is um miles per hour miles per hour yeah and um yeah so this game is really fun it's really good um plus um they added the um spin dash move so like uh yeah this is the first sonic game to introduce the spin dash and it's really good i absolutely love it and it's very useful, very useful, actually. So, um, yeah. And, um, yeah, they, uh, introduced uh, new stages and everything. Um, you can actually do, um, uh, two-player, uh, mode in this game, which is really fun, actually. Which I personally love. It's, it's really fun. And I, um, I personally love it. It's, it's also, once again, one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. So, um, yeah. Number three, Sonic the, I mean, not number three, um, number eight, Sonic the Hedgehog three. I, um, I don't even know why I said number three. I meant like the third Sonic game, but, um, at number eight, we got, um, Sonic the Hedgehog three. Um, just like Super Mario Bros. three for Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog 3 was amazing. It was one of the best Sonic titles ever, actually. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is really amazing. It's a really good game. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, like, um, they introduced Knuckles. Um, got some pretty new stages. Um, wonderful music. Um, really good boss fights. Um everything yeah the music is awesome and like uh some of the um music in this game is uh created by uh one of my uh favorite um 90s singers um michael jackson and uh yeah it's 
it's really good, actually. I think that Michael Jackson did a really good job. And, um, yeah, and I'm surprised that Michael Jackson had something to do with the music in this game. And especially for a Sega game, wow. Heck, he even got his own game on the Sega Genesis. But back to Sonic the Hedgehog 3, actually. Um, uh, Sonic 3 is one of the best titles ever. Um, there's actually, um, there's actually, um, two games of Sonic 3. This is, of course, the original, and, um, there's, of course, Sonic and Knuckles. However, Sonic, uh, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles were supposed to be one game, but, uh, however, I don't, I didn't think Sega was, um, supposed to, um, I didn't think, uh, Sega, um, didn't get it, um, uh, didn't get it to work, but, um, yeah, that's okay, though. Um, but now, um, both games are split into two, and, um, Sonic and Knuckles, um, has, like, a little, like, door thingy, so you can put either Sonic 3 or Sonic 2 on it, and then you'll be able to unlock Knuckles, which is really awesome, I absolutely love, and it's, like, really awesome, I love, I love it so much. Number 7, Sonic Adventure. This is Sonic's first 3D adventure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um Yeah, this is a uh, Sonic's first 3D adventure. Um and um yeah, so Sonic had a few attempts to making uh 3D games. Um there was Sonic 3D Blast, another one of my favorite Sonic games. Um Sonic R and then um yeah, and then they were like massive failures. Um but, um, I actually kind of, I actually enjoyed, um, Sonic 3D Blast. But then, um, when the Sega Dreamcast was announced, um, Sonic Adventure was one of the launch titles. However, I got the DX version for the Nintendo GameCube. But that's okay, though. It's still the same game, except on a different console. Um, so, yeah. And, like, um... This was a massive hit. Um, everybody loved it. It was a really good game. The um, and I think this is the oh yeah, and this is the first Sonic game to introduce voice acting. Um, the cutscenes may be cheesy, but I don't mind that at all. Actually, I think that I think it's perfectly fine. Actually, I have no problem with any of the cheesy cutscenes. They may be weird sometimes, but. I don't mind that at all, actually. It's it's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> and plus, you can play as six characters. First, you can play as Sonic. Um, You can play as Tails. You can play as Knuckles. You can play as Amy and Newcomer, Big the Cat, and Newcomer, E-102 Gamma. And, um, yeah, and this is a really good game, actually. So, um, yeah. And, um... Plus, this game even got a sequel. However, I do not own uh, Sonic Adventure, um, nor the GameCube version. But that's okay, though. Um, this game, it's still good. It's really, really good. I absolutely love it. Alright. Number 6. Sonic Colors from the Nintendo Wii. Um, so, during the Nintendo Wii era... Um, some Sonic games were, like, weird. I mean, there was, like, the Sonic storytelling games. Um, I mean, I think they were okay. I think they were okay. They were not, they're not my favorite Sonic games, but they were okay. And then um, there was Sonic Unleashed. I think Sonic Unleashed was really good, actually. One of my favorite Sonic games. And then in 2010, we got Sonic Colors. Oh, my God. This game, it's really good. It's really good. I love it so much. This game is really fun. Heck, you can even have, you can even unlock aliens to um get their powers and stuff. It's so much fun, I swear. And their um, and their names are uh, called um wisps, and um yeah. So like, um using the wisps power, it's so good. It's it's so satisfying and so unique. It's it's very fun using them. It's it's a really good Sonic game, actually. And plus, you can even uh, do a um, uh, two-player mode. And, um, heck, you can even play as your own me. I don't know how to do that, but that's okay, though. And um, the music in this game is really awesome. It's it's really fun. Um, 
yeah, I th I think my favorite one in my favorite song in this game is on um, the is um the star theme. I think I forgot what it's called, but that's okay though. Um, it's um my favorite, and um plus um Eggman Land has made another appearance in the Sonic game. Um, there were other attempts for um Sonic. I mean um for Eggman Land, but this one uh um Doctor Eggman just makes his own amusing amusement park. I mean, it's not called Eggman Land, but still. But, um, yeah, this game is really good, actually. There's also a Nintendo DS version, actually, which I don't own, but that's okay, though. Okay. Number five. Sonic Heroes, another one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. Um, this, I consider Sonic Heroes one of the best Sonic games ever. Um, the controls may be a bit um off sometimes but that's okay though this game is really fun the levels are awesome um the characters are awesome like once you get like sonic heroes you look and you look at the back you can actually play as 12 characters and you may and you may be like holy crap well here's how sonic heroes works sonic heroes is based off of a is um a team action game. It's a team action game. So, like, first off, you got uh, Team Sonic that has Sonic, Tails, and, and Knuckles. You have Team Dark that has Shadow, Rouge, and Newcomer, Omega. Uh, team Chaotix has Vector the Crocodile, um, Espio, and Charmy B. And Team Rose has um, Amy, Cream, and Big the Cat. And, um, yeah, so there's no problem. It's just a team-based action video game of Sonic. So, yeah, and I think um, that Sonic Heroes is a really good game. It it has some very fun levels, um, very interesting music, very um, interesting boss fights and everything. And, like, heck, the boss fight, the, the final boss fight is really interesting i absolutely love it it's wonderful it's amazing and everything i just love it so much it's really good actually i think it's really good all right number four sonic unleash um i used to own the wii version of sonic unleash when i was little but my old wii broke that broke down so i just got rid of uh, sonic unleash but i have a wii u but I, at least I still have the game of Sonic Unleashed, except for the Xbox. But I love Xbox. I love all consoles. I, I don't do console wars, but that's okay, though. At least I have the game, though. So, yeah, back to Sonic Unleashed. Um, Sonic Unleashed is a really good and creative Sonic game from Sega. Um, um, you, can, um, you can now play as Sonic the Werehog. Um, in the day... Um, you play as regular Sonic, and at night you play as Sonic the Werehog. Um, so yeah, there's um, day stages and night stages. Um, of course, in the day you play as regular Sonic, and in the night you play as Sonic the Werehog and everything. And I love that you get to explore the world. Explore the world. Yes, you can actually go around the world and explore. And um, yeah... And uh, you have to stop a monster named Dark Gaia and everything. And um, plus, um, a new character named uh, Chip is in the game. Um, this is the only game that uh, Chip is in, unfortunately. But um, yeah, but that's okay, though. That's okay, though. Um, I think that uh, Sonic Unleash is, really, is a really creative game and a, with a really creative plot and everything. That the fact that Sonic is turning into a werewolf, a.k.a. the werehog... Um, it's, um, really good, actually. I love everything about this game. I love that you can explore the cities. I love that you can explore, um, the entire world. I love that you can play as two different types of Sonic. Of course, the original modern Sonic and, um, Sonic the Werehog and everything. And, um, yeah, it even shows you right on the back of the game, like, what it shows you and everything. That there's, um, regular Sonic and, uh, Werehog Sonic. And it's so good that this game is so good. And I personally love it. It's, it's really good. I love it. I, I love it. It's so good. I love it. It's very interesting. 
Okay. Number three. Sonic Forces. Um, so this is another one of my favorite Sonic games. Um, but, um, uh, yeah. I mean, the levels are interesting. Uh, not that much of a fan of the music. Some songs are really good, at, actually. I love I love some of the songs. Some songs I don't like. But, um, yeah. And I think that this, that Sonic Forces is a really good game. Um, you can, of course, play as Modern Sonic and uh, Classic Sonic. Not only them, but you can actually play as another character, which is a creative avatar. You can actually make your own Sonic character. So, like, if you've uh, been making uh, Sonic characters for a long time as your um, Sonic fan characters, as your Sonic OCs, um, well, this is the game for you, Sonic Forces. You can literally create your own um, Sonic character, like, right here. Um, so yeah, I actually have fun making them. On the Xbox version that I own, I actually own two versions. The Nintendo Switch version and, uh, Xbox version. Um, on the Xbox version, um, you can actually get the Sega pack that includes I.I. from Super Monkey Ball, Knights from the Ninth Series, Beat from Jet Set Radio, um, Apoyo, um, from Poyo Poyo Tetris, and, uh, Joker from Persona 5 as costumes and, uh, for your avatars. But, um, I think that, um, Sonic Forces is a really good game, actually. Um, it's really good. I love it. It's wonderful, um, and everything. It's, it's so good. It is so good. I love it. It's wonderful. Um, the bosses are really interesting, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, um, the story, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I don't hate it. I like it. I just think it's okay, though, just in my personal opinion. But, um, that's okay, though. Okay. Number two. Sonic Rush. Um, big surprise. Of course, Sonic Rush is gonna be on the list, considering that it's, uh, one of my favorite Sonic games. Um, I didn't want to put it at number one, because I just didn't want people saying, Oh, of course Sonic Rush is on top of Juju's Jungle's list for Sonic games. So, I just decided to put it at least somewhere on the top of the list. I put it at number two. Um, I got another Sonic game for number one. So, at number two, we got Sonic, um, Rush. One of the best Sonic games ever, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people love Sonic Rush. Um, there may be a few problems with Sonic Rush, but I still love it. I don't hate this game at all. I love it to pieces, um, and everything. Um, so, yeah. And, um, this game is really fun, entertaining, and plus the music is, um, the music is, um, um, made by the same person, um, who made, um, the Jet Set Radio music, um, for, um, Jet Set Radio 1 on, the uh, um, original Sega Dreamcast and, um, Jet Set Radio Future on, um, on a, um, on the original Xbox um, I forgot what his name was, but that's okay, though. He did the same mu- He did the music for Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Avenger. I don't have Sonic Rush Avenger because I lost it. However, that is another one of my favorite Sonic games. But, um, yeah. But that's okay, though. That's okay, though. Um, so, um, yeah. Sonic Rush is a really fun game. And, um, it introduced a new character named Blaze the Cat in this. And plus, this is the first Sonic Nintendo DS game. And my god, it was awesome. I absolutely love this game to pieces. Um, it is wonderful. I love it. The The stages are interesting. The music is wonderful and everything. There may be a few problems with the uh, Sonic Rush, but I don't mind that at all. I mean, it's a, I mean, but that's okay, though. That's okay. I still love Sonic Rush. It's wonderful. The special stages are awesome. The music is awesome. Just... Everything is about about this game is wonderful, near perfection. Once again, there may be a few problems with this game, but but that's okay though. I still love it. I still love it. And finally, number one, Sonic Generations. Um, one of the best Sonic games yet. For uh, Sonic's twentieth anniversary, so um Sega played it safe and went big. Um, they released, um, Sonic Generations, and 
There is not a single problem with this Sonic game. Everything about this game is perfection, and it's perfect. Everything about Sonic uh, Generations is wonderful. This game is awesome. Um, you can play as two Sonics, Modern Sonic and Classic Sonic. Uh, um, retro stages from the old Sonic games from like the 90s and early 2000s. Like Sonic 1, like classic Sonic games, Sonic Adventure, uh, Sonic Colors, Sonic Rush, you name it. And plus, the music has been remixed in this game. So yeah, and I absolutely love that. And um, yeah, and um, when you beat the game and done with the credit, um, the credit, um... Uh, a whole bunch of people will be saying happy birthday sonic and this is um and this game came out in 2000 level 11 for sonic's um 20th anniversary and oh my god this game it's a it's amazing i love it everything about this game is perfect it's wonderful uh the music is very nice um the stages have been updated it's wonderful it's bright it's colorful just Everything about this game is perf is perfect and near perfection. I just absolutely love Sonic Generations. Um, I didn't want to put Sonic Rush on top of here because I just didn't want people saying, "Oh, of course, Juju's Jungle put Sonic Rush on on number one because it's his favorite Sonic game." So I just put it in number two, and I just saved uh, number one for Sonic Generations, considering that it's one of the best Sonic games ever. Okay, so that is my top 10 Sonic the Hedgehog games. I did not include any spin-off titles, so no racing games, no spinball, uh, no RPGs, none of that. Um, yeah, just like the Mario video, um, with the, the Mario, um, um, uh, Mario games. So yeah, I wanted to do the same thing, uh, for Sonic, so yeah. Um, but anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.